Hi, how you doing? Well, uh, another bit from the Grumpy Old Gips Guide to Life. We're now up to chapter three. I've not been reading out every bit from it. Just selected parts. Chapter three then is all about the great shopping experience. Now in uh, this case of lockdown, uh, I've been finding out it's best to shop early in the morning. You avoid the queues and uh, you're certain of getting things that you actually want from the shelves before everybody else gets them. So uh, let's go with this bit here. And it's uh, all about something that I'm sure everybody has problems with. Shopping trolleys. This section is entitled, Why do I always get the supermarket trolley that wants to make a bid for freedom? It's one of the mysteries of modern life. It can put man on the moon. We can find cures for countless diseases. We can even make kangaroo flavoured crisps. But we are seemingly incapable of designing a supermarket trolley that goes in a straight line. Some shopping carts won't even go forwards. They will only move sideways like crabs. All of which makes navigating your way safely along the aisles about as achievable as trying to break the world land speed record with the handbrake on. Frankly, it's easier to steer a bucking bronco than a supermarket trolley. Consequently, what should be a routine excursion around the store turns into a life-threatening dodgem ride resulting in a trail of crumpled metal and scuffed ankles. By the time round wounded shoppers have limped to the checkout, the scene resembles something from ER. And if you ever wondered how many trolleys come to finish up in rivers, It's not because shoppers have dumped them there deliberately. On the contrary, they have been trying to return the damn things to the designated bays. But the cart's natural steering has taken them at right angles out of the supermarket car park and straight down the riverbank. <laughs> and at the bottom of this page, there's a quote which goes like this. Forget about being world famous. It's hard enough just getting the automatic doors at the supermarket to acknowledge your existence. And that quote is from Douglas Coupland. Don't forget, uh, you can click the link to find out about how to buy a copy of this. And uh, don't forget to check out the website. The gr What did I call it? Grumpy old gits guide dot co dot uk. <laughs> Check it out. See you soon.